Hello again as we head now for the Rivermead Centre in Reading for the welterweight championship of Great Britain. Kirkland Lang, the 35-year-old champion, has had an up-and-down career. When he's good, he's brilliant. His victory over Roberto Duran in 83 proves that. But the five defeats on his record show how erratic he can be. George Collins is 13 years younger. He's lost only one in 36 fights, but that was his last bout when his Commonwealth title bid against Gary Jacobs ended in a points defeat. Our commentary team, Terry Lawless and Reg Dutridge. Well, now, it's a big chance for George Collins, personally on his home territory with family and a whole host of supporters here. And it's one of the most gifted uh, boxers in Britain today, without doubt. But the totally unpredictable Kirtland Lang. There it is with the, the Rastafarian style tied, I understand, into a French plait. So I think it's I think it's going to be a show-off night for Kirtland Lang. He's only lost to one British fighter in the last 14 years, uh, back in 80 and 81, to Colin Jones, who of course was a good puncher and fought twice for the World Championship. So let's see which Lang is with us tonight, whether it's going to be the actor or the great performer. And Mickey Van and Patsy, the referee, just saying, well, if you don't mind, tell us, could we get on with the, with the championship fight? You can't blame Collins for that. So that was only the first minute on the opening round. The dramatics are over with. What kind of name do you think we've got tonight? You used to manage him. Nobody should know him better than you and how he performs. I was going to say amen to that when you said the totally unpredictable. I, 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 I think after 35 years, I don't think Kirk can even work himself out. Um, I don't think anybody knows, including himself, what he's going to do tonight. I mean, to see a guy, champion of Great Britain, defending the title and walking around like that is just unbelievable. Very talented nonetheless. Right back to the ABA finals in 72, defeated Vernon Solace of Scotland. And he was a very good boxer. Well, Collins' game plan has got to be to try and pressure Lang a bit. 35 years old, you never know the old bit legs. Might have a bit of lead in them. And uh, if he can keep it going towards the end of the contest, who knows, he might have a fading man in his hands. But in terms of ability, certainly nobody could not cope that man. And remember that he once defeated the great Roberto Duran, who's still around and earning millions. I think he fancies the fight, as they say, in the trade lane, doesn't he? Yeah, he's a very confident guy these days. You just wonder how many times can he go to the post. You know, he's, he's done this so many times now. Uh, I, I just, it's such, such a shame that somebody with that talent has never fought for the world title, you know. Well, I tell you what, there's a little, little touch of rest. WrestleMania coming in now. I thought it was a, an American wrestling game we were going. The referee quite right in saying we don't need any of that. And there's the rundown now of Kirkman. As I say, well, world ranked 18. He could he could be well in the top 10 if only he tried a bit more. He lost to Nino LaRocca for the vacant European Championship. Uh, and he's only had two fights in two years. He's he totally frustrates manager Mickey Duff, whose head you see just poking through the ropes there. As trainer uh, Danny Mancini works on uh, any bumps and bruises. And a switch to Collins. And there it is, it's only just 22. And only that one loss, and remember that was in a very exciting contest with Gary Jacobs for the Commonwealth Championship. Take it up, round two. Round two. quite what to make of Lang at this day. He, he doesn't want to fall into any silly traps and he wants to bide his time being a younger 
by a long way. I think she probably can stay better. A little bit of out of the uh, hammer warning there by the referee for shoving uh, Lang, and he was. Well, Terry, I've seen, well, the majority of Lang's fights, and I really can't remember him being so showy as this. Uh, no, he's, he's, he is really taking the mickey a little bit of, of Collins. I mean, it, I don't know if you're working the other corner. I've only worked with him. When, if you're working the other corner, what do you tell anybody to do? How do you tell him to fight him? His hands are so quick. His reflexes are so good. And he's a, he's a stinging puncher. Well, you can't just say head down and go in and have a go. There's more to it than that to be caught in there. Well, that's, that's the sort of pressure that Collins wants to apply and keep applying. Rough the, rough the champion up. He's got to keep this under control now, Mickey Van. Warning to both of them for the heads there banging away. sure Colin should really get into that game. Up oh, there we go again. Two falls or a submission we're going to get. He'd be better off keeping out of the acting business, uh, Collins, and just sticking to his task, though, wouldn't he? Well, he's got. I mean, he's got to try and put pressure on on Kirk, but he's got to be careful also that he doesn't walk onto something. It's very, very difficult to handle. Oh, that right hand punch. And he's going to have trouble. He's jumped over him twice there when he went down. And Collins looking to his corner. He couldn't, he couldn't find the corner. He's in desperate trouble. And he's in trouble here. Desperate trouble. I don't think he's going to get up. He's only yes. just about made it, yes. too, at nine and a bit. Mickey Van had trouble picking up the count from the timekeeper, I thought, there. What a right hand punch that was in the second round. You see, he's not, he's not all flash, is he, uh, Lang? He can dig when he wants to. Well, that, that's the problem, Reg, he's sitting on him. And then you walk onto those sort of punches. Well, when you think he might be at the end of his career, he looks as though he's just beginning it, the way he's throwing punches here, Lang. Now, I'll tell you, that was quite there. He, George Collins now. It's not the first time that he's been staggered in a contest, but uh, he's never been hurt quite as much as that. He looks to the wrong corner to start with, and then he was making sure he could pick up the count from the, the referee. Terry, let's have a look at that knockdown. Well, uh, I mean, I, I'm quite surprised he, he, he got up from that. He did very well to get up for that. It was very tight, actually, at 10. You know, very tight in beating the count. Really a downward arc right on the side of the jaw there. I mean, if you think, Red, when you go back to when he boxed Colin Jones, I think the only two rounds he lost in both fights were the rounds he got knocked out. That's right, he was well ahead in both of them. But, uh, Jones always had that payoff that mattered. Round three, then. certainly fires himself up when he's against British opponents, Terry. He, he stops Sylvester Mitty Lang in the same way. Well, that, that was probably the best uh, Lang I've ever seen when he got to the He was exceptional that night. This isn't the way Kirk Wenang defeated Roberto Duran, but to do it in Detroit and, uh, and get the decision, he must have boxed well. Long time ago, of course, back in 82. See, Lang's in a 
really Terry is turning at his own pace now isn't he you see, he's, he's yeah th that's the problem you see Collins has got to try and hustle him he's got to try and tire him but he's got to do it carefully and that's very hard to do with Kirby now. drive corner men mad uh, you know what are people like Mickey Duff and Mancini thinking at this well, stage I think I think he's got a lot better I mean when he won the British title when I managed him with Ryan he, I refused to get in the corner at the, the end of the fight he was whistling in between rounds you know I mean I've watched him for 17 years now uh, and I've seen Bob thousands of rounds of, in the gymnasium and I still do not know what he's going to do next I don't think I'm sure he doesn't know what he's going to do next As they say, the second major title fight in his 36 pro uh, fights. Manager Frank Warren, who doesn't work the corner, has done a very good job in steering this fellow through 35 wins. And he's stopped 24 of those. Round four. Round four. still got so much youth on his side even at 35 time is that he hasn't really been in as many punishing fights in well, his career, yeah, right? you can count on your hands how many times he gets hit exactly that's what i mean you know he, know, he knows how to get out of the way of punches and uh, he's made many a good fighter look very ordinary in gymnasium sparring i mean can, can you believe this you've just read out collins's record look he's walking around with his hands at his side like he's having a sunday afternoon walk his hands as though well I'll ignore that don't do that again <laughs> like you can say I dare you then. yeah exactly <laughs> what, what do you mean you're hitting a champion <laughs> George Collins got all the heart in the world he'll, he'll stick to his task as much as he can hopefully without getting caught for his sake
Well, at the risk of repeating ourselves, and that's often what commentators have to do. I mean, what do you make of this fellow laying? He drops his hands. I mean, as Terry Lawrence was saying, how can you tell the fellow in the other corner what to do against him? That's exactly it. When, when he goes back to the corner, what do they tell him to do? They tell him to press on because then he's likely to get caught with a counter that he can't back away. If he drops his hands, that's exactly what Lang's doing. I'm glad I'm here tonight, not up in the other corner. I think my advice would be, look out, here he comes. Terry, have a look at this replay then. So he did better with those left-hand yep. jabs, and then the right hand came over. Yeah, but he knows, you see, he's already felt the power of, of the cross of, of Lang. So he's, he's doing it just a little bit apprehensively. And that's where he's got to be careful when he throws his head up. He's certainly a very brave young man. Round five. Laying up before the bell there, early for work. Scheduled, of course, a championship fight for 12 rounds. World of Weight Championship for Britain, 10 stone, 7. And there's only a quarter of a pound between them. Uh, that's to Collins' advantage, whatever that means. calls coming from supporters and presumably corner men or work means throwing punches for Collins I don't want imposing too much because he'll win nothing at that game Lang you might say Terry's a professional poser isn't he yeah, yeah. I mean, when you look at him look at the size of him he's a giant of a world away mature strong man and he's still got the reflexes of a, of a young 20 year old I must be honest, I keep watching him, waiting for the, the day he's going to slow down, but it, it doesn't appear to be uh, happening tonight. Well, fifth round, not to, you never know. Uh, in this game, one punch can change everything. One hit, Rich. time I see him watching this now um, a guy can do that at 35 years of age it's heartbreaking yeah, and, uh, he's not been a world champion because he's, he's probably one of the most talented fighters ever to come out of this country just watch watch this replay then Terry I mean his, his body really betrayed him there didn't it when he got caught well he was a confused bewildered young man at that stage Prey, wasn't he then uh, for Lang and that was it the and referee I, had to get in I felt very sorry for him that round he looked totally confused he didn't know what to do well 
he's, he's had a couple of cracks and uh, that's the, the brother in the ring with him. But unfortunately, he has met two talented fighters, and in particular here with Kirk and Lang. Nothing right with Kirk. He's even got the Lonsdale belt on upside down. <laughs> nothing. He does nothing normally. <laughs> Kirk, for many congratulations, and uh, we are wondering at ringside, 35 years of age, when are you going to start slowing down? Slowing down, why? I don't know, none of us slowing down. This is right now, Jim, right? Yeah, you know, back is my business. And I have the best friend of the business, Joe Ryan. Thank you for having me, Joe Ryan, the best. Thank you for the motivation. <laughs> to the boys that we are now, that they have faith in me, Jim. A lot of us watching at ringside just wondered, Aren't you frustrated that you've never had the opportunity to fight for a world title? No, it's right now. I'm a patient man, and I believe in anything can happen. You know, boxing is a funny game. But holding on to the Lonsdale belt and still being British champion means a huge amount to you, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. It's right now, Jim. This is this big thing here. I hope. Wicked, you know. Right, Mickey Duff, you said it might change him not fighting for a world title. Well, you know, there's an old Irish adage that the man who invented time made a lot of it. And he's a living, Kirkland is a living proof of it. There are three titles at the world awaits. I'm working on a Lloyd Hannigan fight against Mark Breland, but that leaves two. We might well make Marlon Starling with him during the next year or even Simon Brown for the IBF title. You're not going to go missing again, are you? You'll be around for those fights, <laughs> will you? Right. I'm just getting my boxing together, Jim. Jim so I, I am told that the referee counted uh, Collins out in the second round. The timekeeper counted him out, but the referee didn't hear so it. There's definitely a bit of confusion there. Yeah, I think, Kirk, anyway, you might like to have a little look well. at some of the action down here. <laughs> And this is the end of the fight, and you, you ended it in brilliant style. Sure, that is known. You see, I have better to come still. I was tonight. I was. I couldn't get going. I'm not making no excuse, right? You was in shape. I was in shape, very good shape, but I think I had too much rest. I've been in my hotel all day today, man. I never woke up properly. That's the truth. But you see, I know I'm in control. So we just lose one too sharp. Right. And if you look down at the, the, the screen now, here comes the knockdown. Right, God, you see that? Watch out. Sure, just work with him, man. Right. It's fair. It's fair enough. Fine. I think we were wondering what sort of mood you were going to be in tonight. You were up for this one, weren't you? Yeah, man. This is pretty excited. Hey, this is why I love it. That's right. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure he's the right way round, but it doesn't make too much difference to you, does it? Jim. Okay. Let me know. Okay. Hold on. You see, you see, in what state you do when I be your virtue, Duran? I want to find them to know that, right? I was just mentally, you know, I, was, I wasn't growing up physically or mentally. I was just okay. fast and sharp. What you made your point. Ready. You All made right? your point. Good show tonight. Thanks a lot. Well done. What a character, eh? Some achievement, isn't it, to beat someone 13 years younger? Right, with more boxing later with George Collins.